Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about the Pupis, Pupis S1 router. Basically what this is for is if you don't have a Wi-Fi router laying around and you want a good experience connecting your headset to a router that connects directly to your computer, that's the way to go. Um, just know that uh, you need two USB ports. Okay. Um, also, do not use the phone app. Use the PC app. Okay. So the PC app is actually pretty hidden. So if you go to support and then you go to Pulpus VR, you're like, oh, where do I find it? Where do I find it? Just know that if you go down here, you'll find the app. Do not use the Google Play app or any of this. Use the desk app. If it disappears on your website, um, let me know. I can get you a link to that software. So this is the application for the software. And let me go ahead and minimize this and this. And you can see that it's here. Okay. And you can see the status of it. It tells you that there's connection and internet. And the reason there's internet is because here on this channel, we do a lot with the Pico 3. You may or may not need to use this with the Quest because um, the Quest may just work uh, with PCBR. But you can share the um, thing here. So here is the USB thing. Um, I have it set to United States. We have it set to Pulse mode, Prism mode. We could do Wi Fi hotspot, um, the Pulse. Um, is high speed dedicated connection for your headset to your thing. So this is what you want to select. You can select hotspot and connect phones via through there. Um, you can do internet sharing. Um, internet shared it says not um, you can share the ethernet port. Just make sure that you and then two puppets you want to do the um, Ethernet to port. So select the Bumpus 1, select your PC's network. Uh, if you have a Wi Fi and you're connected to Wi Fi, you just select that. Okay. Okay. So it is now sharing the network, which kind of sucks because I already did it a different way. So let's turn that back off because it doesn't actually work right with the Pico. So let me show you how to get this back to working. Okay, so it's going to connect back up. You don't want to use it that way. Um, let's go ahead and disable and enable. Um, just to get it back to how I had it, okay? So status, internet access, and as you can see, I don't have internet by PC sharing enabled here. And there's a reason that I, um, there's a different way to do it, and it works better um, than this other way. Because if you do it this other way, it just makes it so the internet doesn't work, um, and it's like really finicky with the Pico. You can do a one-click scan. Please make sure that it's connected, whatever. Um, you can, there's the headset. It can say that it's connected to the headset. You can do internet, all this stuff, AX protocols, local networks, device management. You can do settings. Um, this is like, again, the same thing again. Um, you can check for updates. You can configure your Wi-Fi. You can make this device connect to Wi-Fi too, which I think I did. Which, if you enable Wi-Fi, um, there I have it set up. And then if you do Windows OS, this is where you want to play with things. Okay, the Windows OS. And then you click on 
here and you select auto, 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 auto. If you select services, this then shares your internet connection and it actually works correctly. You don't want to use the other one. It doesn't work right. And as you can see, when I try to do the other one, it would just unavailable and that won't work. But if you do this, internet sharing auto, the SSDP auto, you plug and play auto, and DNS auto. Just, just set it to that. Firewalls off, status, they're both connected to the um, to the internet, but yeah. So here's the, the status of my computer. Here's the dashboard. So once I have this all set up here, um, now that that is pretty easy to set up, you know, um, you do have to sign in when you originally get it or whatever, but. Let's get back to this one. I think it's dashboard. No, um, home. Network interfaces. No. Okay. So we have a Pico name. It says it's connected automatically to Pico, which I don't think it is, but we can now connect up to the Pico headset. It's ready for streaming. You pick up the Pico headset, you know, and then you connect up to your head, to your Poppus thing. Um, yeah, just know that you want to make sure that your Prism Pulse is connected. It's pretty simple. You then connect to your website or webs thing, and then now you, you see that I'm connected. And in my headset, I can actually open up a web browser and I can check a website. Uh, let me go to a web browser and check a website real quick. And I'm going to just click on Facebook on my Oprah browser, and yep, it loads the internet straight through the device. So we have that as well. And um, I can go back to the connect and it shows that I'm connected. You can look at the performance. Um, I believe the performance should show. Oh, show performance in games. Okay. So I'm not in any games yet, but I could show the performance. It actually shows up pretty well and the lag is actually pretty decent. Um, so. Yeah, so this is how you would um, connect up the prism to the headset. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do it. Um, let me let me disconnect from here real quick and talk about something else that we need to talk about, and that's sharing. So, like like I did here, and when you went into um, into here, and then we went to share the network. It's the same thing as clicking here, properties, and then sharing and sharing your connection. So that's what that does. It doesn't really exactly work right. So just know that you don't want to do that. Um, with the router method that I showed the other day, that's where you would actually share your connection to this connection. So you would go in here, properties, share, and then there you go. And that's what you would do with the, the router connection thing. I do hope that this video is helpful. I, I do plan on making a website uh, on my website for the um, for the Pumpus, um, just because there's a lot of um, mis a lot of information out there that people don't really know, and um, yeah, but it does work with the Pico just fine, and I do hope that this is a helpful and that I can add in support for this device. And uh, thank you and have a great day guys, bye bye.